UFC Fight Night Allen vs. Curtis 2 took place on April 6th and raked in at least $7 million from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract. And while it took place in the UFC Apex, so there are no ticket sales to report, the total revenue would have been boosted by sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters actually take home? Welcome to MMA Money. Hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Let's jump into the first fight. Kicking off the main card, Charlie Campbell attacked the legs of fellow lightweight Trevor Peak with heavy kicks to open up the striking game as both men landed big shots in the opening round. The action continued in the second and third rounds with Campbell showing off his superior grappling and taking the unanimous decision victory. Peak brought in $14,000 to show and $4,500 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, for $18,500 on the night. While Campbell earned $12,000 to show and $12,000 for the win, along with $4,000 in Fight Week incentive for a total of $28,000. The second fight saw lightweight Ignacio Bahamundes take on Christos Yagos. Bahamundes' striking looked sharper throughout the first round, and with about a minute left, he landed a left head kick that froze Yagos and sent him tumbling to the canvas. No follow-up shots were needed as Bahamundes took the TKO victory. Yagos took home $56,000 to show, $11,000 in Fight Week incentive, and $67,000 on the night. While Bahamundes made $30,000 to show and another $30,000 for the win, $6,000 in Fight Week incentive, along with a $50,000 Performance of the Night bonus, coming out to a total of $116,000. The third fight started out clinch heavy with Chepe Mariscal insisted on securing a takedown against fellow featherweight Morgan Charrier. He mixed in his striking as well as both men landed big shots. It opened up in the second and third rounds with exciting non-stop action on the feet and fast-paced grappling exchanges. The fight was close, but after the final bell, the scorecards came down as a split decision victory for Chepe Mariscal. Charrier earned $12,000 to show and $4,000 in Fight Week incentive, along with a $50,000 Fight of the Night bonus, and took home a total of $66,000. And Mariscal brought home $14,000 to show and $14 for the win, $4,000 in Fight Week incentive, and his $50K bonus for $82,000 on the night. In the co-main event, Damon Jackson used his grappling to stay ahead on the scorecards against Alexander Hernandez and threatened with several submission attempts in the first two rounds. In the first minute of the third, Hernandez dropped Jackson with a nasty right hand. Jackson was able to survive and ride out the round until the final bell, resulting in the second consecutive split decision and a victory for Damon Jackson. Hernandez came into the fight a pound and a half over the featherweight limit, resulting in a 20% fine, meaning that he took home $52,000 to show and $11,000 fight week incentive for a total of $63,000. While Jackson brought in $48,000 to show and $48 for the win, $6,000 in fight week incentive and 20% of Hernandez's purse, coming out to a total of $115,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, Brendan Allen eked out a decision victory over fellow middleweight Chris Curtis. It was an exciting back and forth fight that took place primarily on the feet. Allen mixed in his elite grappling and threatened with several submission attempts. Going into the fifth and final round, it was 2-2 on all three judges' scorecards. Both men were exhausted, but powered through the end of the round, with Curtis seemingly injuring his hamstring in the final seconds, and Allen pouring it on at the end to take the split decision. Curtis brought home $65,000 to show and $6,000 in Fight Week incentive for $71,000 on the night. And the winner, Brendan Allen, raked in $85,000 to show and another $85 for the win, $11,000 in Fight Week incentive, bringing his total to $181,000. The Nevada State Athletic Commission does not disclose fighter pay information, so the totals I've shown in this video were just estimates based on reports and past earnings. As always, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent ones.